side of today's video, we're going to be ranking all of the assassins in the game from the very worst all the way up to the very best. So if you guys missed it with a brand new update, there was a bunch of changes to the broader classes. So they're a lot more defined now. You've got assassins like Fang. You've also got damage dealers like Eve. And then I'm trying to think of some other ones top of my head. You've even got some kind of like control brawlers like Mr. P. So there's a lot of different changes to the brawler classes. Let me know whether you want to carry on with this series. Just wanted to test it out, see if this was something you guys were interested in. But of course, we're only going to be basing this solely off how good they are at their own class. So like obviously how good Fang is as an assassin. So before we jump into it, make sure you're using the credit code. That'd be greatly appreciated. Without further ado, let's hop into it. All right, guys, jumping into the first one. So you might be surprised by this one. In the last place, as an assassin i've actually got crow so in total there's eight assassins so i've put crow as number eight mainly because i don't think crow should be titled as an assassin like he can have some assassin capabilities but the best thing about crow if anything it should be towards the controller class in my opinion just because he'll control kind of the game just chipping opponents down he doesn't really become an assassin until he gets his super, of course. It can be a really deadly assassin once he gets his super, but still, you're quite squishy and you only tend to jump on top of a brawler for pressure uh, kind of thing or just when you see a squishy opponent, which most assassins can do anyway. So yeah, Crow, I think is actually the worst assassin, but that doesn't mean he's bad in the game, right? Like in my tier list, I put him at pretty much like one of the best brawlers in the game. He's insane in this meta. I just don't think if you're looking for a type of an assassin, it really fits the criteria so we should be able to eventually get this surge down and especially on a brother like tick of course we're going to assassinate tick so easily even though we just jumped straight into all of his tick mines i mean that was a pretty bad play so even though <laughs> we're saying how bad crow is we just literally wasted our super entirely on that i mean that was a really good play from tick to be fair or i'm just pretty dumb so we should be able to take this mortis down and also like i mentioned like i'm not doing a lot of damage quickly normally you kind of associate an assassin uh, quickly going up to an opponent and taking them down really fast you know crow does it really slow even when you're literally on top of an opponent it still takes quite a little while to take them down fully so we're going to use my super right here of course it's going to get a lot of damage though like that is one incredible thing about crow but in pro matches and also if you like you won't always get the best matchup with crow so for example you're up against a counter like a brawler that has a gadget that can tank like spike for example it's going to take you forever to get your super so of course you're not really being an assassin in that sense so we're about to get super again here thanks to mortis just feeding us should be able to get our super it doesn't even matter i just managed to thread the needle somehow so uh, crow he's actually going to be the worst assassin in my opinion let's open to the next one so next up as an assassin we have Stu. so Stu, he's the second worst assassin or the seventh best so for me again Stu, it definitely fits within the assassin category just because if you're facing off against a more squishy character he can be uh, quite the assassin but this is the perfect example like what if you face off against tanks it's going to take Sue forever to take them down so for that reason i just don't feel like he's the best assassin in that case but of course do i actually think he's one of the best brawlers in the game right now so if you're talking uh, a brawler that you can kind of control with i think again Stu can kind of i don't know it feels like that type of hybrid brawler in some cases an assassin in some uh, cases is a controller because he can just control a real big area of the field because of just him chaining his supers so yeah, but for me, he doesn't really fit the assassin category right now. And also, there's a lot of unbreakable walls, so of course that can hurt him in a sense. Like a lot of his assassin capabilities can come through the form of his gadget. Like a lot of times, he can surprise people, use the gadget, break through the wall, and take them down. But yes, yeah, do like as you can see in this gameplay, he's doing a little bit of work, but I'm not really assassinating anyone, am I? Like I'm just slowly chipping them down, doing my piece trying to build up my super trying to make something happen but there's no assassinating going on right here it's like taking forever to get these guys down so again daryl's gonna roll on in if anything he's going to assassinate me there's just no way i can really do anything i think i've just supered back to my own goal here but luckily my teammates have got it covered and uh, taken them down so we should be able to score this one with the help of our mortis so that is going to be the second worst assassin let's hop into the next one so next up as the sixth best assassin we have egos so if we're talking strictly solo showdown just camping in bushes uh Egos probably one of the best assassins in the game because in a 1v1 he can take people down pretty quickly but 
of course you guys know i hate solo showdown i actually tried to play it before the video and it was just teaming it's just too hard to really have like solo showdown gameplay when i'm at 800 trophies every single game is just full of teaming but Edgar can be quite the assassin just because in a 1v1 he's got that healing mechanic we can just absolutely shred some brawlers so of course i think he's still a really good assassin but again the main problem is with Edgar is in 3v3 modes people can just pinch together and take him down but the problem is with Edgar as well is that once you get a kill even and even if it's like a tankier brawler it's going to take you forever to cycle your super again so Although you might get a kill onto a brawler, you've then got to wait a little while for your super. And you're just leaving your teammates in a 2v3 scenario. So in 3v3 modes, Edgar's just not really. And also, there's just so many brawlers with a gadget, with a uh, star power gear. I don't know, with any type of mechanic, super, that can stop Edgar. And it's just a little bit frustrating for Edgar Ryan and Meta. But at least he's a little bit better than some brawlers in his respective categories. So we should just be able to jump on top of blue or just any of these guys right here and get a lot of pressure i'm gonna pop my gadget although i think i'm gonna be frozen and get taken down eventually there but let me know what you think of Edgar. will he ever receive a rework because of course the uh the issue is with Edgar and his mechanics is that uh when he was first released into the game he was insanely broken he could just assassinate everyone and he could cycle his super so quickly but of course the main problem was that you never had time to actually um react you literally couldn't react because of how fast he assassinates people like he's got one of the quickest burst damage in the game so of course uh, it's pretty scary for a brawler like him to be anywhere close to the meta because you literally don't have time to think when he takes you down that quickly so uh, i'm hoping he some somehow becomes a viable in the near future uh, but for now i think it's pretty safe for him to be near the bottom of the rankings so i'm just going to run it in here i mean i haven't really done too much as ego right now of course a lot of pressure to be fair i've got some decent matchups but when we're talking power league as well or just in free for free modes in general it's just very rare that you will actually find a full game of uh people that you do well against like at least i've got bb and lou and Edgar to face off again so that's gonna be Edgar. let's hop into the next one all right guys to so jumping into the fifth best assassin in brawl stars right now we have mortis so even though mortis isn't the best in the game right now when we're talking about just pure uh how we are in the meta he's definitely one of the better assassins so whenever i think of an assassin brawler a lot of times i just think straight away of mortis where uh, even if he's not the best in the meta he's just the perfect assassin in the sense that you can get a lot of value out of his bats no matter what even against your hardest counters you can do something just like i've shown it right here if they're grouping up mortis can just assassin them literally by himself a good mortis player can still like 1v3 just because of his mechanics and his bats so that is why i like mortis especially as an assassin even though there's still a ton of counters to him it's really hard to play Mortis when it comes down to uh, power league you know it really needs to be the perfect matchup for him to really do anything so Mortis you know he, he's fun to play really fun to play definitely in the terms of assassins so we're going to use our bats right here to get a lot of work done hopefully the balls pass this off to us and we're just going to be able to slot that one in pretty easily so even though I'm like the worst Mortis in the world you can just see if I've got maybe one brawler I can counter and feed my bats off he's going to do some decent work so he's going to be the fifth best assassin in the game let's hop into number four so next up as the fourth best assassin in the game right now I've gone for Sam so Sam is this kind of weird assassin like he's a tank but at the same time he can definitely assassinate people with a speed boost and his super it can get some insane damage main reason why i think he's a really strong assassin or oh, i didn't mean to actually do that yeah the main reason why i think he's such a strong assassin is the sense that a lot of sam players can just go so aggro a lot of times they just go in time and time again but don't even care if they die a lot of the times because they know they're just going to get a lot of pressure his super is the main way you're going to assassinate people although it did rec receive a recent nerf i think just a little bit to its damage his assassin capabilities have gone down a little bit and his meta ranking has actually gone down a little bit i still think he's a really strong assassin to have in the game right now so we should just be able to run straight into this uh stew right here we're going to manage to take him down hopefully with our healing we can perhaps get this max down as well and this should actually be a goal so although i'm like the worst sound player in the world it doesn't really take too much skills sometimes like you can just brainlessly spam your super against the wall and just get so much value i'm still learning how to play sam but when you're looking at the highest level 
And when I watch some good Sam players, they just make it look so easy. You can just make some amazing plays with his brothers. Hopefully, we can do something right here. We're going to use the gadget to try and pull them closer. Hopefully, we can get the Ash down. We're not going to be able to get the Stu down as well. But let me know what you think of Sam right now. Sam is in a little bit of a weird spot. Like in the last meta, he was so OP. But for some reason, I'm just not really seeing too much Sam. And he's just not really the brother he, he like once used to be. Maybe I'm overestimating him a little bit. But... I still think in the right hang hands and the right setting you can get some really good work done so i'm just going to run it into this ash right here one thing i've learned a lot more about sam is to try and hold on to your super a little bit more especially in a fight like you want to use uh, your first form knuckles first and then use your super quite late on so that's going to be sam he's going to be the fourth best assassin let's hop into number three all right guys jumping into the third best assassin in the game right now we have leon so leon i already think is incredibly underrated within the meta it's just unfortunate that the vision gear of course counters him pretty hard in 3v3 modes but in showdown in duels he's going to be definitely a really strong brawler but still i've seen him played powerly quite a few times in brawl and him work pretty much all of the time and then obviously in like knockout and bounty he's going to be an insane assassin so we're mainly ranking him on his assassin capabilities and of course leon is really strong his best thing of course is going to be his super he combined this with smoke trails combine this with his brand new mythic gear you can just delete people so quickly like look at that i've just absolutely shredded the surge he hasn't even got the reaction time to pop his gadget or anything leon can just run completely through some brawlers so for me he's an insane assassin even though he can get scouted out pretty easily with uh with his super sometimes i think the right leon player can still make it work definitely underrated and still a really strong assassin so next up as his second best assassin in the game right now we have fang so fang is actually a really insane assassin when especially when it comes down to game modes like bounty on and knockout he can just take people down so quickly so there's also like a really cool tip i want to show you guys which you can get like some really fast damage as i as i literally shown you unfortunately they managed to squeeze it in but basically you need two fingers with it so what you want to do is attack first and then use your gadget and then you can attack again so unfortunately i didn't really get it off at that time uh, but it's a really good assassin uh kind of tip to have with fang i've not really uh, knocked it down right yet because i'm you know recording it's pretty awkward to play with uh, two fingers on the right hand side but once you got it uh, locked down especially try it in the training game i might actually show it at the end of the video as well for you guys uh it's gonna make you take people down so quickly with fang so uh one thing i just love about him as well is when you're playing against those squishier brawlers you can just get some insane chains especially if you play fresh kicks on a more open map you can get some really good assassin plays and Again, the best thing about him definitely is when you land on top of them, get that stun in, get another attack, and it's just going to lead you to kill them so fast. So Fang is kind of in a weird place. I don't really see him used too much outside of those kind of bounty knockout. But that's the main reason why I think he's a good assassin, because assassins can really thrive on those types of game modes for sure. So unfortunately, got no more stuns left, so got to be a little bit careful. Got to get a kill onto Morsis. You can just see right there how quickly I kill people once I land on them and get that super damage. Unfortunately, um, so just literally my biggest counter, so there's just no way I can really uh, kill him, especially once he's got his gadgets. I should be able to get my super again though in a second, and maybe I can make a pop off play. Let's see. Looks like Daryl's gonna try and make a getaway. He's gonna pass the ball over this way though, but we should just be able to use our super and take him down pretty quickly. Um, what is this one shot? Might be able to finish him nice. So if BB passes over. This should be a goal. There's no way that Surge can kill me right here. So the right fan can still definitely pop off in any scenario. I'm just a little bit annoyed that I just wasted my gadget right there. I had my uh, fingers in such a weird position. So I just completely wasted the gadget into thin air. So Daryl unfortunately has got that shield. So I'm just going to wait a second and then take him down. Just look at the assassin capabilities. So I can just take people down so quickly, especially if they're my counter. So unfortunately, my teammates are pretty trash, but I think... Uh, Fang definitely has to be the second best assassin. Let's hop into number one. All right, guys, so jumping into the best assassin in Brawl Stars right now, we have Buzz. So Buzz is literally such a good assassin that they made a class literally just for him. It was literally called Buzz Assassin before this update. So just going to show how strong of an assassin and brawler he really is. So, of course, the best thing about him in comparison to all the other assassins is that he has this stun feature. So he gets it even more of a chance to take down the opponents of course in a much more sophisticated fashion so that's why i just think he's a really strong uh, assassin so 
yeah, although I'm not really showing the best cases for it, he's going to be incredibly strong more so against just kind of squishy brawlers or brawlers that don't have any cancellation features. So he's going to get such insane value out of his super. So Mortis should be able to get my super from him in a second. I'm not even going to waste my stun right there on him. But on top of this BB and Buzz, I should be able to get some insane stun at times. So you can see right here, I'm just chaining my supers like crazy. I'm about to get another one, which I should just be able to stun the Mortis and keep him in a stun lock. But I just I just love Buzz. He's one of my favorite brawlers to play, even though I'm such a terrible Buzz. He definitely is one of my favorite ones to play just because of how satisfying it can be when you hit someone at maximum distance, get the maximum stun duration. It's, it just feels so so good so let me know as well who you think are the best assassins in brawl stars do you think i'm right i think when i play solo showdown as well and just see the overall meta i feel like he's got the best um just the best assassin capabilities especially in a 1v1 like if uh, you're a good buzz in a 1v1 you're going to win that interaction a lot of the time so we're going to be able to stun lock that buzz right there Unfortunately, my teammates aren't really doing the best job kind of cleaning up, but I've just hit like a million stuns this game. It's really helps me in my 1v1 scenarios. So it unfortunately isn't really going to be able to do too much just there, but I've got my stun again and I should be able to just lock it on to any of these guys. Going to use it on the BB right here, but it's going to go in for the cleanup, but I should be able to cycle my stun in time. I mean, managed to get my kill. So just the BB left. I'm just going to run into it, get my stun again and get the goal. So just look at this. Buzz is just so satisfying to play, especially when it's ladder. He feels so strong. In Power League, sometimes there's some obvious counters, but a good Buzz player can still make it work. So unfortunately, their Buzz just makes a really good play as well. I didn't have my stun available. I couldn't really stop that. So that is going to be the best assassin in Brawl Stars. Let me know who you think is the best assassin in the game. And let me know whether you want me to continue with this series. So that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.